Good morning, guys. It is Friday. That's a good day. I'm <laughs> sorry, adjusting my camera there. Maybe I need to adjust myself, huh? Uh-oh, maybe we need to adjust ourselves today. Maybe that was the Holy Spirit speaking. We need to adjust ourselves to think like God, to reflect His will, to walk out His will. <laughs> so today is poem or story day. And so we are going to talk about, and I'm going to speak to you, read to you a poem that God gave me a while ago about lining up our thoughts with His about rejecting the thoughts of evil, rejecting lies, and accepting the truth. Hi, Debbie. How are you doing? So this is a process we all have to go to because, or go through because, guys, listen, man, we are born into a lie, and everyone around us is walking out that lie. And that lie says that God doesn't love us, that we'll never live up to who he wants us to be, uh, uh, that, that, that humanity is condemned forever, uh, and that we will always have to walk in suffering and pain and discontent and never be satisfied, and that our destiny is death. <laughs> but that is all untrue. It's all untrue because Jesus came to replace the seed of evil to replace the lie with truth and he is good and his father is good and holy spirit empowers us to walk out his will in the goodness of the fruit of the spirit love joy peace kindness goodness faithfulness patience i probably left one out but we can walk like that guys and when we fail to walk like that jesus is always there the holy spirit is always there the plan of the father that he's instilled is always there to pick us back up and set us on the right path the problem is that we continue to walk as if we were dead instead of as if we had a loving father who gives us life. Yeah. So so we got to change our mind. We got to think with our heart and put our heart over our minds that we can tell our minds how to think right? Tell our minds how to think that our, that as we walk out life, we walk out the will of God. So this is really our thought process. This is really our, 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 uh, our initiator of actions. And then we use this vessel, which is still corrupt, but we possess our vessel, right? To walk out the goodness of God. Then we are fulfilled. Then we know life. Then we change our mindset and manifest a kingdom. So let me read you this poem that God gave me to teach me about that. So it's it's called The Death of Shame. The death that beckons all of us is waiting at the door. The lies that twist and capture thoughts keep men from knowing more. It steals from us the simple truth of love and life and trust, replaces it with slavery and greed produced by lust man lust is what the flesh thrives on love is what the spirit thrives on it kills the very seed of life to snuff out dreams of hope and ties the hands of saints and sons with guilt just like a rope for in the end destruction is its goal for all who live because it knows they carry life that God wants them to give. Man, the point of walking in the Spirit is to give. As you give, you receive. As you receive, you give. It's this amazing circle of life, right? But life is free, so taste and see the goodness of our God, who spares us from the shame that kills and beats and beats us like a rod. God doesn't beat us like a rod. Shame and guilt beat us like a rod, right? (laughs) So he spares us from the shame uh, that kills and beats us like a rod. His sacrifice and victory, a gift in love for all. Forgiveness from the thoughts that kill, from death to life, he calls. A new name for each one of us, he holds within his hand, a seed of life to plant in hearts as like his trees we stand man you don't have to be defined by the seed of pain and guilt and shame and things that you've done or have been done to you in the past you can be defined by the seed of christ and his victory in the cross and resurrection that's what forgiveness is about guys so we can have a new name our name isn't that original name that comes from 
from pain and death, right? Let me continue. <laughs> he plants us by his rivers that supply us with his power. We bear the fruit his love so sweet and bloom just like a flower. My God, he is the way, the truth, the life that brings us light to cast down every thought that kills and win the final fight. What's the final fight? The final fight, Paul says, is when we even have victory over death. So we have victory right now, right, guys? But when we receive our new bodies, then 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 the vessel's never going to even die, right? So that's how that works. So if you're lost, you're blind in fear, and pain is all you know, bow down to truth, submit to love, and life will overflow <laughs> all right guys so hey man just change your mindset today man when when things go wrong when you don't live up to the standard you think you should live up to man begin to live out of it because it's not about you it's about him it's not about what you accomplish it's about everything he's accomplished and honoring it as you walk out this reality that you might manifest the goodness of god to yourself and others it's really that simple, guys. And as you do that, you begin to, to, to live out of your heart, change the way you think, and manifest the kingdom. In Jesus' name, so be it. I pray that you guys have a great weekend. So, Father, I just thank you that your amazing plan is still in effect. That no matter what we see, no matter what we hear, no matter what we even taste and smell, no matter what the circumstances are around us, you never change. You never, ever change. And therefore, we can remain in your goodness, in your love, in your plan for all eternity because you are not shaken. So, so be it for each and every person watching today that they would not be shaken no matter what they see, no matter what they hear, that they would stand in the truth of your love for them and others, that they would walk in it, that their minds would and their hearts would line up with the truth of God, that you are a good, good father, that you have an amazing plan for us, and that you desire that we dwell in you and that you dwell in us for eternity. In Jesus' name, so be it. I will see you guys, tomorrow. I will see you guys Monday. Have a great weekend. Bye.